We're at Storm King Mountain on December 21st, 2019. It's the winter solstice. You can kind of see it starts there. Trailhead is over there. We're at the parking lot off of Route 9W, and I'm the only one here. It's 11.45. There's my truck. And the rest of the parking lot is empty. So, it's not that cold. And it's not that snowy. It's, it looks like everything's glazed with ice, so... I'll just put the cleats on and I'll carry the snowshoes, but I don't think I'm going to need them. So, I'm climbing Storm King Mountain, the winter solstice. This initial part here, right by the road, is all covered and glazed with ice. <laughs> But got these spikes that are digging in pretty good. Yeah, right, so these rocks are tricky. This whole first part is a little treacherous. And now we can see the Hudson River at the, the first landmark. You can see the Hudson River in the distance. They're starting to get, starting to fill up with some ice. Not that much, but. You can see chunks of it floating from here. I don't know if the video is going to pick that up. The rocks are all, they're just, they're, they're covered in ice. And there's a thin layer of snow on top of them. And this whole part that I just came through is steep rocks. So it took me a little while to get through there. And then this is where it turns over. It turns into the woods. Are these... Stone pillars over here. This is all just coated with ice too. This whole thing is just going to be nothing but ice. This is, and it's glazed. See the glaze of ice? And the snow on top of it. And there are these three stone pillars, so I think a an old estate or something that was here. And here's where the trail turns into the woods. It goes down, goes up to the top of that steep thing there, and it goes back down and then it turns back up. So, first part's done. All right, this is the bottom of that steep hill I was pointing at before from those pillars. You can see it. It's actually called Butter Hill. And it's the same thing here. All it's just it's a rock scramble that's all through. Just nothing but glazed with ice. And like halfway up this thing is even steeper and more exposed, so maybe the ice will be melted there. But this is the this is the start of the the scramble up something called Butter Hill, which is like the I call this the like the second landmark on the way to Stone King. And you're halfway up here. And I feel like I'm stymied. This is, all the rocks have this really thick ice. And the crevices are all covered with ice, so there's nothing to grab. And this part here is pretty steep, and then there's nothing. If I start sliding down that, it's a long way down. So I think I'm going to go through this here where the, there's thick rocks. Maybe that way. The trail is this way, but it's just too covered with ice to go. So I think I have to go this way. Pull pull my way up those steeper rocks with less ice on them. And then work back over to the right once I get up there. Alright. So I diverted and bushwhacked for quite a long ways. And got back onto the trail, which is now still icy, but it's cleared up quite a lot. And this is like one of the best overviews right here. You see the Hudson River. It's to the east. See Route 9W snaking to the south there. And then there's the sun to the southwest. And then there, look how close it is to the horizon. So that's like, what time is it? That looks like it's about three hours, maybe four hours of daylight left. 
Alright, this is taking me a little bit longer than I expected, but that's Butter Hill right up there. And then uh, Storm King from there is pretty easy. And they, I don't think the backside is going to be that icy, so I should be alright from here. Alright, this is Butter Hill. This one actually has a benchmark. As you can see, it's under the ice. It says Butter Hill on it, but you can't see it under the ice. This is a pretty good, at this point, it's just all glazed, so i got to watch where I'm stepping here. You can see 360 degrees from here. It's looking east toward the Hudson. It's breakneck ridge over there. You can see Mount Beacon Fire Tower way off in the distance. And you got a pretty clear day, but it's just not very bright. Just got to be careful turning around here so I don't go down on my ass. There's the solstice sun right there. It's making a nice color. It's about quarter to one, so I, I don't have a lot of time to finish this before it gets dark. It gets dark at like 4.30, or the st sun starts to set anyway. So that's it. This is actually a better view than the, uh, the Storm King Mountain Summit, because it's 360 degrees. But Storm King Mountain is right over there. So it goes down into this little valley. It goes around that way and it comes back up and the, the outlook is on the other side of that, uh, that thing there. So if you ever do this trail, you're going to come off Butter Hill and it, it goes down for a while. And then you'll see this fallen tree across the trail as it continues down. Don't miss these markers here because don't just don't go under that fallen tree. It's been there. I first did this I think like nine years ago. And I went under that tree and I kept walking and walking and walking. I ended up at a at a different trailhead. So and I had to turn around and come back. This is where you turn right. So just if you ever do this hike, when you see if you see that fallen tree, just that's where you make a right. And you go up this thing a little ways. And then it levels off up here. As soon as you get to the, it's like no, it's a, you'll see another set of markers on this street up here, and then you can go straight or make a left. If you want to go to Storm King, you make a left. So this is the only tricky part of this hike where you might get lost. So you can see the fallen tree, make a right. You go up that little that little incline, and you'll see you can go straight or go left. You want to go left. All right, so we made it to the top. This is not the actual summit. The actual summit is a little bit up there, but there's no real view from there. This is the, the scenic overlook that everybody comes to. You get good pictures from here. You can see, way off in the distance is Mount Beacon. That's Breakneck Ridge to the right. An island out there is called, people call it Bannerman Island. I think it's actually called Popeil Island. Bannerman was a Civil War surplus dealer. He had a bunch of, I think, like cannons and stuff on there. It's a, just like a, it's like an abandoned warehouse. It looks like a castle now. Way off in the distance is the Beacon Newburgh Bridge. That's Beacon on the right, which is the east. Newburgh on the left, which is the west. And that's it. You can't really see too far north. But there's the sun, which is fading pretty fast. So that's it. Storm King Mountain, winter solstice. And now I got just enough time to get off of here before it sunsets. And this is the back end of the trail, maybe like a quarter of the way down. And it's just as icy as the front part was. You can see it's just shining. 
And I got these spikes that are working pretty good. But I'm still taking it nice and slow because there's nobody out here except me. And if I fall down and break my arm or something or my leg, it's going to be rough. So I'm not getting a signal out here, so it's going to take a little while longer to get down. <laughs> This is the last part of it here. I'm walking right into the sun. This last little steep climb. The very end of the loop. Back up to the parking lot. to our story. There's another car in the parking lot. Two more cars in the parking lot. Oh, one of them is just sitting in it. There's the sun going down over that hill there. But it's still like I could have I could have been out there at least another like 90 minutes before I lost the sun. Anyway, storm came out in the winter solstice 2019.